do you think the ui looks great and it's a user friendly what do you think guys whatever that you have learned in the manual testing right mobile testing is just a basically above it with some extra test cases there will be a test plan that you are going to create you, there will be test cases you are going to uh, basically create so if you go here this is actually a real device if you see it's a very slow one bandwidth problems but again now question is promote but what should i test in these applications let's suppose i have a vw.com apk or basically apk is for a uh, android package right then only we have i have an application right i want to test it so see mobile application what are the things you are going to test you will test for usability this is the most unfriendly application right now over the internet which is irctc which is our indian railway by the way it's doing a fantastic our indian railway is a most profitable government uh, organization by the way but still you will see that they have a ui issues see agent login and if you see this part it is not properly visible in this case right this is still agent loggy by the way so it's not user friendly if you use it on phone right it will be a crazy crazy experience i mean see suppose i want to go from the delhi new delhi to unao matter right i want okay all the uh, person with disability concession on the flexible date right what is happening right now i'm clicking somewhere and it is going somewhere search option if you see it is the most unfriendly i mean this is such a bad experience that i have right every time this diksha pops up i mean i want to do something this diksha will pops up i mean this pop up so usability basically means ensuring that map application mobile application is user friendly and provide a satisfactory user experience i am 99% sure this irct c website doesn't provide any kind of satisfactory experience to any user in mobile it works on web application but generally don't doesn't work on mobile okay anyway so how do you know how do you sir, do it conducting user surveys analyze user feedback and other things right you will know that compatibility testing which means it should work on a different devices different browsers different screen resolution different os versions right you can test it on iphone samsung galaxy browsers like chrome firefox and firefox interface testing which basically means you can check for the different options that you have this is more into functional if you know right and service testing for example if you can test this application offline and online now you know whatever that you have learned in the manual testing right mobile testing is just a basically above it with some extra test cases suppose you have manual testing test case 100 test cases you have so same application if you want to test for mobile then you will have 20 plus more application more test cases so similarly not only that you will basically check for the low level resources what happens if the storage is basically low in the application or uh, in the android performance testing operational installation testing right and installation basically means we will install the application on different devices we will uninstall it everything should be deleted all these things scenarios are there okay now let's go one by one we will basically take a simple example suppose i have a app.vw application guys what do you think guys as a usability point of view what do you think usability is ensuring the mobile application user friendly satisfy user experience do you think the ui looks great and it's a user friendly what do you think guys right now i'm using galaxy fold what do you think it is responsive proper alignments are there yes so as a usability testing this test this is basically passing i am able to enter anything and i am able to click a button so i am pretty much happy but what happens after this pramod now it's user friendly tell me is it what happens so this is the problem like right, which i wanted to highlight that this this application actually app.vw only front page is made responsive rest of things are not there anyways vw.com have a different website anyways what we will do we will do compatibility testing which basically means testing on a different resolution so how do you check on a different resolution so what you need to do is right click inspect element you can emulate everything right go to the uh, network tab here you can see there are options different phones options which you can basically see on a different resolution iPhone iPhone Pro Surface Pro 7 right but this is not accurate this is not a real device this is just a emulation so right now i'm on a lambda test right now okay and here i will connect to a real device okay this is a real device right now i'm going to collect suppose i want to open s3 ultra and chrome firefox uh, chrome i will be opening it so now i'm connecting to a cloud provider okay so this is a device which is right now live device and here i'm testing a abroad vw is it working fine or not so this is again loading very fine it so this is a real device but right now that you see this is this is a emulation right now right we are just emulating this environment these are these are not 100% true see what do you think the testing approach will be testing approach see 
if you noticed this is the testing approach that we have used for the mobile testing yes or no what is this this is an stlc which is software testing life cycle right this is a very basic concept in manual testing same process we have to follow for the mobile testing also if we are doing it manually same concept we have to use there will be a requirement given to you there will be a test plan that you are going to create you, there will be test cases you are going to uh, basically create you will be testing out on a platform right either you will have a real device in hand either you will use a emulation on a browser or you will use a cloud provider right now do you think i can buy hundreds of phones suppose i want to test a application app.bw do you think it's a good idea that i should buy hundreds of phones to test i want to test on ios 11 i want to test on ios 12 ios 13 i want to test on android ultra right every not possible so what should i do i will use a cloud provider like lambda test browser stack right i will use the cloud providers this cloud provider will have the devices available what I need to do, I just need to connect with them through the internet. I can, con this is a real device, which is connect. They have given me the UI. That's it. I can access everything here. So if you go here, this is actually a real device. If you see, it's a very slow one bandwidth problem. But again, if they are providing you access to so many devices, do you think they will give you for free? Never. They will never give you for free, right? No, because they have to manage, right? They have to manage these devices, right? You can get any device. For example, Xiaomi uh, 12 Pro, if I want to test my application in Google Chrome, Firefox, Samsung Internet, any browser I want to test. This is it. Or suppose I want to test specifically a native app. Suppose this is, an, this is for a native application right now. Suppose a simple APK I have installed, right? You can test any application, by the way. For example, session will launch a Play Store. So this is, suppose I want to start on Samsung S2 Ultra. Let's start the session, which means this dummy application right now will install and I can test it out in this case. So this is just a dummy application right now. It's nothing but a to-do list. It's a simple native application where you can basically enter something, some, some random points. If you do done, or if you hit enter, it will basically be shown here. This is just a dummy application right now. We have. Okay. So for this application, tell me the first thing you will do is usability testing. Are we going to test the installation for this to check that it is getting installed? And we will also check the uninstall also. How do you check it? Very simple. Open the home page, right? Go to this where this app is installed. This is the application, right? I can uninstall and verify. Right click and then verify right uninstall also i will check so see installation basically means installation and uninstallation and verify that after in in uninstallation everything is deleted so you can test it out suppose you have launched oh, wait a minute so right click uninstall this is uninstall testing and i will check after installing right if i uninstall it again then data should not persist yes or no this is this will be our test case right if we are uninstalling and when then we'll store it again, data should persist or should not persist according to the requirement, according to requirement, please make sure that this is happening according to the requirement. Don't assume anything in this case. So this is your test case. This kind of your test cases will be and where these test cases are coming from. This is the type of test cases. This is coming from the usability testing, compatibility testing, interface testing. Interface basically means checking the menu options, buttons, bookmarks, history, navigation flows. All these are. Verify that all the menu buttons and everything is basically working. Services, if it can work on offline and off, you can evaluate, uh, you can basically see, you can kill the internet also here. If you do offline here, if you see, there is an option for offline also. So you can check if your application work can work on 3G, 4G, 5G, custom profile or no throttling or even offline. If your webs, if your application or native application basically works. So this is right now what we are doing, guys. This is manual mobile testing so suppose i am testing this application this is manual mobile testing i have done installation testing i have done usability uh, usability testing right now i have done the in uh, this one also third one interface one interface testing also compatibility also i have done testing out a, if this application works on the ios as well as on different versions so compatibility also i can check low level resources these are your these these are basically type of testing which will become a test cases afterward for example low level testing performance ones operational installation and all security test security test cases a little different out of context in this case so overall point here what i wanted to give you is the process of mobile testing remains same you will get a requirement you will prepare a test plan you will prepare a test case you will test test it out on a different platform and there will be a test execution and closer that's the thing 
you will be doing functional testing which is basically functionality of the app usability compatibility performance security network testing installation localization accessibility push notification testing also all these are basically part of your mobile testing so these are the extra things which are adding added if you noticed functional usability and performance and security these were actually part of functional versus non functional in manual testing in system testing we have functional and non functional when we join any company generally we do functional testing non functional generally we don't do but here when you are going to join a mobile testing team there may be a chances where you have to do a security test as well as performance test also for this mobile application there can be a chance in this case generally mobile testing performance teams are not there so you have to be the part of it or maybe you have to do it okay so pay attention on this part.